Let's be honest, nail technician is not the healthiest and safest job out there. We're not risking our lives like lifeguards or firefighters, but we're still sitting in the shrimp pools all day long. We're dealing with different kinds of chemicals and most importantly, lots of dust. Dust from products that we're filing, from natural nails and from the skin. When it's flying all around, it's not just super annoying. Also, the workspace doesn't look as clean, but most of Importantly, we are inhaling all this dust. So using protective gloves, face masks, or protective screen is the bare minimum. You also need to use dust collector. On my channel, I reviewed many different products, electric nail files, and you guys are always asking me if I can do more reviews on dust collectors. But the problem is there are not that many different options on the market. Today, I will finally review two different dust collectors from Nails Done. One of them is designed for manicure services and another one for pedicure. Dust collector models that will be shown in this video are prototypes, which means they're working on the improved version, which will be available on the market soon. And I'm super excited because I'm about to try a completely new product. Without any doubts, this is the biggest nail mail I've ever received because I got two boxes like this, each one includes a dust collector. Also, I was a little worried on how I'm going to put all these things together because honestly, I'm not really good at this. One time I bought a wardrobe from Ikea and when I realized that I'm not buying it as the whole piece, I need to put it all together by myself, it was a nightmare and I couldn't do it, so I had to ask for help. And I did ask for help this time as well, but I'm going to pull all these pieces together by myself. Also, Nails Done sent me a detailed tutorial on how to do this, so I hope it will all work out fine. First, I will get rid of the wrap and we will start with the first model, which is ND1. Actually, both models can be used for manicures and pedicures, but the first one is just more convenient for pedicure. There are two buttons on the side, one is a switch power and another one is for the light. Even though I'm in the nail industry for so long, I don't know much about technical specifications of the dust collectors. So I asked Nails Done to share some information about it and they said that many manufacturers only focus on power consumption, which doesn't provide a complete picture of airflow efficiency. Beyond power consumption, the quality of the electric motor, motor bearing type, and fan blade shape and size are equally important. And their fans excel in all these aspects, delivering the highest airflow in the market. This model ND1 has 197 CFM, which is cubic feet per minute. Meanwhile, I already installed this handle to my table, and now I'm putting all these pieces together and surprise Surprisingly, it wasn't that hard. As you can see, guys, I have long nails and I'm still able to do it. I like to keep my workspace tidy and clean, but since I have so many different kinds of equipment, such as lightning, cameras, obviously I have tons of different cables. So it's really cool that you can hide this one right here in the handle. And like I said, you can even do it with long nails. Now let's secure the second part of the cable just like this so it will be hidden and will not be visible and finally turn it on. I like that this dust collector also has a ring light which is convenient because the more light the better. Now let's turn it on and whoa, it is pretty noisy. As far as I understand, dust collectors are supposed to be noisy if they are powerful, right? And also, this is going to be my first dust collector with a construction like this, because normally I tried the ones that you need to just put on the table so they get the dust from underneath, but this one is going to get the dust from the top. And this is the second model, ND2, which can be also used for manicure and pedicure, but it's designed more for a manicure. And this this one is a bit more powerful. It has 330 CFM. Since I don't do much pedicures and my specialty is nail extensions, manicures, well, anything about nails, I'm really excited to try this one. Another interesting fact that surprised me is that both models come with a high quality filters, but you can easily purchase them online or at stores like Amazon, Home Depot or Lowe's. 
And this is really cool because you will not need to go through this struggle of finding a certain type of the air filter that you need. Installing this model of the dust collector is very similar to the first one. First, we need to secure it on the table. And now we have two arms and you can change the pressure so you can move them around as you want it. And for me, this is perfect because sometimes I need to put dust collector super close when I'm going to file the product off or do manicures, when I need to do something like take a picture or something where you do not need a dust collector anymore, you can simply push it away quickly without spending some extra time on it. Also, we're going to hide the cables. It's very similar in this model too. And the two model also has a ring light and two buttons on the side, but they're a little different. They're more like sensor buttons. Let's turn it on and hear how it works. This one is pretty noisy too, but you can easily move it all around. So I think I need to install it a little further from myself on the table now, and I cannot wait to try it. Luckily, I need to file off my nails because they're a bit outgrown for now and I want to make them slightly shorter. Honestly, the biggest struggle here was to remove my nails, to use dust collector and to do it so you guys can see all the details on camera. So as you can see on the left screen, I put it a little bit to the side and the dust is actually flying all the way there but still some particles are left on my hand. I decided to wear a Blake apron on purpose so we can see the white dust on this background. And I was surprised how the dust is actually flying over there because when you're working, you cannot see it as much. And you definitely feel that there is less dust because if you're not using any dust collector at all, all of it is going to be on a table. As I was filing my nails, I definitely can see that we have less dust than usual, but there is still a lot on my hands. So I thought maybe I should try a different position and put it right on top of me. And unfortunately, from this angle, it's not possible to record myself and a close up of the nail. But now we can see that it is collecting like 95% of the dust. So I decided to do a different kind of test drive and put it a little further further from myself, because if you are doing your own nails, you can get as close as you want to the dust collector. But when working with the clients, you still need some distance from there. And wow, you guys can see that it's actually taking almost all of the dust. When I received this product and was testing it, it was not available yet. But now Nails Done officially launched the sales of both dust collectors. I will leave the links and the information about both products in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what kind of dust collectors do you use. And I look forward to seeing you in my next videos. Goodbye.